Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, Windows 10 has finally come out. A lot of you people have upgraded, but have had some issues. Now, if you have seen my how to upgrade to Windows 10 step by step video, I know it's a long one, but it shows you all the steps, and uh, it went pretty smooth, except when I was trying to get into the settings app, it did not launch. I did a little bit of research, and it looks like Microsoft knows about this issue. On the final build, some of you might not have the ability to launch the settings app. It's basically going to flicker and it disappears and it won't pop up. Microsoft did provide a troubleshooter launcher, which uh, I downloaded on my desktop. I will provide the link at the description. It's basically going to take you to my site with some cool screenshots. And so uh, let's, I'm going to click on the start. And once I click on start, I'm going to go to settings and eventually it's not going to pop up so i tried this many times i clicked on start i clicked on settings i probably said to myself okay i'm not clicking on it the right way uh click on it again and it doesn't launch that sucks so i'm going to double click on the on the troubleshooter and here it goes it says troubleshoot and help prevent computer problems fix or work around an emerging issue yes i think this is uh, an emerging issue so let's click on next uh click next right now it's detecting any problems i'm crossing my fingers that it does detect the issue of the settings app and it says fix or work around emerging issues six whoa sixty-seven thousand seven hundred fifty-eight. what this issue is now this is now a new issue, and we are investigated the permanent solution, but you don't have to wait. This is, whoa, okay. I guess this is the, the error ID code. And, okay, sure, go next. It's so resolving the problem. It looks the emerging issue of 67758 has been fixed. I'm going to close it. It looks like it's fixed, so let's see. Let's try it out. Let's go to, to start. Because that was the only issue that I was having. Plus, it looks like the Microsoft Store is also having launch issues as well. So this troubleshooter will fix everything. So let's, I'm in start already. Let's click on settings. And settings has finally popped up. Awesome. So the troubleshooter does fix the app problem. And uh, that's it, guys. I will provide this link at the bottom of the description. Go get, go get the troubleshooter if you guys are having issues. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.